Alright, hello everyone. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, I just woke up. Uh, this is... Uh oh oh oh. This is Spellbound Caves. We are not doing too badly. Although, obviously, the last couple of episodes have been a bit rocky. But we're still, like, kind of surviving. I say kind of, because you never know what's going to happen. Um, this episode, I think, we're just... Oh my goodness. We're out of food. This episode, we're going to make our way down this cave. See what we can see. I want to light this place up. But obviously... Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing holding this gravel up. And if one creeper explodes, then... Yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble. Flip, I saved him. I wonder if we could, like... Block off this area. Like that. Yeah, okay, well that'll do. Hopefully that'll discourage mobs from coming our way. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to head over here. Uh, I'm almost tempted to... Uh, we don't need flint. Why, why are we canning flint? There we go. Right. Um, yeah, so we're just going to head over here. Probably just dig, because... I mean, we could take the... We could go that way, like the gravel... Over the gravel path. But I'm not too enthused about that. Uh, we'll just have to see. It's not... Yeah, it's not the most safest of places. There's a old chest down there. Um, so I think that'll be our, our target. I don't know how many wool we've got left, like 11 or something. So we're going to keep that in mind. Um, but at the moment... Oh, he's, he's finding a way around, that guy. At the moment, uh, we're just trying to, I guess, make some headway. I think most of the rest of the map takes place in this room. I could be wrong. It's a very strange map in that regard. It's like not... I don't think there's many other, many more intersections. Or maybe there is, and I'm just... I think there is. No, I think I think I was... Uh, there's a room that looks like this, I think. Or maybe the, maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. We'll see. I've not done the... Like, I think of all the times I've done it, I'm not convinced I've got to this, this far. I've got this far on at least one occasion. That's definitely not good. Okay. That was very, that was very scary. Like that, that definitely woke me up. All right. Hmm. There's a gas spawner down there. Very tempted to, yeah, just block that off. Make sure nothing can get up. Uh, so there's a chest down there. There's iron. Gas spawner. There's not much else really. Not as far as I could see. Should we just head down there, do you think? Should we... Should we just start... I, I kind of want to keep the road going up here. Because it's kind of... Well, it's not... Okay, that, that explosion proved it's not safe up here. Like, it's not completely safe. But it, I think it, it's safer up here than it is down there. Whoa! There's plenty of places for mobs to sneak in via the top. Alright. Let's light. I'm going to just light up the areas up here first, just to be safe. Probably won't do a very good job right enough, but at least it'll be safer than it was. Whoa! Thank goodness that could have been a lot worse. We're now at this gravel patch, which, as I said, doesn't look too inviting. So we're just going to, I guess... Oh no, we can't do that. That means some guy will be able to get up. Uh, we're just going to keep digging our way around. Hopefully we don't get flanked or anything. Let's risk it a bit, shall we? Oh! This knockback sword is actually fairly useful. Somebody else is shooting at me. Where did that guy... I'm sure there was another one. Alright. So there's a path down there, it looks like, to another cavern. Is that a spawner? That's a spawner. I'm almost tempted to say we should go... Like, we're running out of food. So we should probably start staircasing down. Right above the uh, the gas spawner. Probably not the brightest of ideas, but... We just need to get down, right? We just need to get lower to the... Uh, oh dear. Down to lava level. 
Okay, so there's a bit of a, a tower in the centre, and then there's lava pouring over that thing. There's probably a spawner under that. That would make sense. There's coal, there's iron. Uh, yeah, and there's something that way. So that's our target. It's not active yet. Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're going to all in. All in with our pots. And we'll see how this goes, shall we? We've got 28 torches. Let's see what we can do here. We don't need to go that way. We don't need to go that way. So we'll just go this way. Hopefully no ghasts show up. Those spawners are really weird. But you can kind of understand why. <laughs> why they were like that. Just due to the sheer size of ghasts. Please don't spawn. There we go. Alright, all good. Um, let's just make our way around, I guess. Light this place up. Hopefully, no gravel falls from the heavens. And we should be okay. Oh, there's another one. Got that one. And we're out of torches, but that's okay. We've got glowstone here. Hello. Uh-oh, so many. Let's keep lighting this place up. Just to be safe. Fulbright wouldn't be very useful in this sort of a place, just because you need to know where the darkness is. That guy survived. I guess he's got a helmet on. Or maybe I didn't hit him with my sword. There we go. I need those bones. No. It's the bones I need. I'm, I'm down to one carrot. It's really annoying. That wasn't worth it, I know it. I know I'm not good at Kohi, but I just wanted to be at full health for this. Let's get those boards. Oh, hi, Blaze. Nice of you to get one-shotted. Oh, there's another gas spot up there. Let's go for it. Okay, got it. And there's more iron here. I need to find the uh, all the creeper spawners. I'm sure there's skeleton spawners as well. Okay, uh, there's something through here. I'm going to keep going, I reckon. Just consolidate the place. Here's intersection number three. Uh, the Skittering Mine, the Rattlebone Crypts, and Blackheart Citadel. I think I remember that. Vaguely. Let's go this way, just see what there is. This, is, this might be crazy. If we find dirt, I'm going to craft a gardening utensil and we're gonna I guess oh we can't grow any carrots because I ate them all I, I left some behind but I, yeah as you can tell I, I did eat most of them <laughs> that was dumb uh, apologies for that raw fish oh my goodness that's not good let's gapple I didn't know about that Oh, I think we saved ourselves though. I did have ender pearls as well. Oh man, that 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 was trollish, scary, very yeah. I I, I can't describe what went through my head at that point. <laughs> oh, what a troll! I wonder how he did this. I bet you it was like uh, there's a, an animal or something that's activating them. Let's just get rid of them because we don't want to have to go through that again. I, I don't want to. I'm pu pure shaking. Yeah, no, it's a creeper spawner. It's a creeper spawner. Alright, there we go. Right, let's head in. Um, loads and loads of spawners. I think I should take this on when I've got more food. But at least we've, uh, yeah, activated the trap. I bet you that raw fish was there to, like, kind of distract the player. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a cannon. Ah... That's a good one of your old, uh, what do you call it? One of your old uh, race for the wool cannons. I would love to do race for the wool. Like seriously, I've thought about this for so so long. Let's go back. I like people. You know, you get a lot of UCRRs now. I'd love to get eight people and just do uh, uh, race for the wool. I think that'd be a lot of fun. It's bow based. It's classic. 
you know, it's probably not been done in so long. I mean, I knew there used to be tournaments, but yeah, that would just be so epic. Let's go up top. I wonder if that was, I wonder if they were all natural spawns or if it was legit, uh, legit spawners, I should say. Alright, well, we've been faffing about this whole entire time, so we might as well. Oh, hey. That was a great shot. I heard TNT. Thank you for the arrows. Please tell me that took out the spawner. That did not take out the spawner. Yeah, it did. Okay. I was going to say, if it didn't take out the spawner, it would not have been worth it. Hey! Oh. Yes, that was my worry. How long I left? I don't have that long left on my potions. We do have 13 bones. We've also got potato, a potato, by the way. I, I got one off camera at the alchemy place and I just kind of left it in a chest. So, is there any spawner? There's no spawners under the thing. I tried to find the spot. Oh, there we go. Alright, okay. We'll just head over, I guess. Oh, that was close. Hopefully we don't fall in lava. Again. There's got to be a spawner under there. Yep. Told you. There's another one. There's got to be one on top of the thing though, right? It would make perfect sense. Uh, we don't need that. Grey will. Grey with an E. Awesome. I feel like there's some trap here or something. This is cool, it's like a stack in the lava, it's really, I, I like it. Ooh, nice. Uh, should we take it? What use is it going to be to us? That's the question, though. I mean, it's a dimed axe, it's just not as good as efficiency, too. I'll just leave it there. I guess that's assume, it's probably assumed that we've lost our diamond sword, so that's like our new weapon. I, I thought we were a goner there <laughs> when it shot us while we were in the lava. Okay, there we go. Aye, we're out of our pots. But no worries, we've got grey wool. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back. We're going to get more food. Oh, that reminds me, we should grab some iron. Yeah, we should grab some iron because we need to... Uh, I was going to craft the water bucket because I feel like that would be useful. That came in so useful in Uncharted Territories. Uh, the Uncharted Territories map. So we're going to grab some iron. And then grab some water bucket, a uh, water bucket, and then we'll head back. All right, so I'm just going to end the episode there. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, all my stuff to the next intersection, and we'll set up a base there. I think that's possibly the best option. Uh, so I'll do that off camera, and when we come back, hopefully, it will be time to move on to the next part. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch you next time.